Hi, Mr. Chairman. Hi, sir. It's Aussie Villain. Good, thank you. Good, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I know I've been pleased. It's been a solid start, that's for sure. But uh, I'm a little bit concerned about Manchester United and Liverpool, I've got to say. I mean, well, obviously, I've told the players I think they can win. Uh, but between you and me, I considered taking uh, the forfeit and the 3-0. <laughs> yeah, no, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Uh, listen, anyway, the reason that I'm uh, calling is with all this Premier League money sloshing around the club, uh, I'm thinking it might be a good idea to invest in the training and youth facilities. Oh, good. I'm glad you agree. This is excellent news. Hi guys, I'm Aussie Villa and welcome to Season 2, Episode 2 at Brentford as we follow in Dean Smith's managerial footsteps and today we have two massive, massive Premier League games, Manchester United and Liverpool. It doesn't get too much more difficult than that, so uh, I'll set the tone early. We're probably going to lose both games, but uh, we'll do give it our best shot and see exactly how we can go. Now, the big news is that you can see here we have agreed with the board to expand or improve, I should say, the training and youth facilities. So that is absolutely massive. Um, you can see the rest of how everything's doing here. We're not; It's not going too badly. Everything is, uh, everything is more or less uh, where it should be, I think. Uh, if we look at the finances... I mean, it's, we've got Premier League money now. We're absolutely flying. And we've also made a profit so far in the transfer window. So it's looking, it's looking, things are looking good for the club off the field. Um, a quick update of where the facilities currently stand. If we go and have a look here, uh, we can see that we have average training facilities. That they do really need to be better. But it's the below average youth facilities that are the problem. Um, and we'll keep looking to invest in the junior coaching and recruitment. Because let's remember, when we came into the club, there was no, there was no youth recruitment. So we're starting from scratch on that one. And hopefully... You know, we'll get them to a point so that when we leave the club uh, to move on to Aston Villa, when that job is available and they hire us for it, unbelievable. Um, we want to make sure Brentford's in a good position. I mean, we couldn't do much for Warsaw off the pitch, but we certainly, you know, move them up the divisions. I'd like to make sure Brentford's in a good place when we uh, when we leave. Now, some bad news that we do have to quickly um, catch you up on is in the medical centre here and. You can see that, well, we already knew that we, we can't see it's on my head, <laughs> but we knew that we'd lost uh, Potter, uh, Lewis Potter, the wizard, uh, to a broken arm. Two further injuries, Palaversa, uh, this is a devastating injury for us, has a hamstring strain. He's out for up to three weeks, it's only just happened. Uh, so two to three weeks we've lost Ante Palaversa. He is a very, very good midfielder for us, so that does hurt us. Uh, and the other one is not ridiculously bad in sense of starting 11 uh, but Jack Simpson who we signed last January was really good for us at the end of last season he's out he's torn his hamstring so he's out for uh, sort of eight, eight weeks uh, sorry six to eight weeks um, he's already been out for two weeks as well so what where this hurts us is just is rotating center backs he was very much our third choice um, sort of first reserve I guess in terms of center backs and Left-footed as well, which was always a nice thing. So he's he's missing for the foreseeable future. So that is also um, a rather large loss for us. Now, we do have uh, some games to catch you up on since last episode, starting with the Carabao Cup, the second round against Oxford United, who are League One. Let's go see how we did. We went in front when Madsbeck Sorensen found Manuel Ferre in the box for his first Brentford goal. Oxford drew level before half-time. But Andy Hay unleashed a rocket to win it on the hour mark. So we got through. That's the main thing. It wasn't a terrible performance. You can see there was a number of debuts we gave out here. Marley Felix uh, played it, uh, made his debut at centre-back. Um, Hamar got himself sent off, which made it for a little bit more of a nervy finish than it perhaps needed to be. Sorensen, to be honest, at left wing-back, was really, really good in this. So that's a, that's a positive. De Silva injured himself again. He's a bit of a sick note so far this year. Uh, Ferre, I still haven't really figured out how you say that yet, but he was he was quite solid, got hit the first goal for us. Hey, um, really, really promising from him, and what a strike it was as well. He really had a wind-up to it, but yeah, again, very, very promising from him on Debu. Hendrickson, two new guys up front as well. Hendrickson um, was okay, uh, and Fico was, again, was okay up top, but uh, it was essentially a brand new team, and didn't do too bad. Got through, that's the main thing. Next up was back to Premier League action against Wolverhampton Wanderers. We fell behind in the second minute, and we're two down after 15, but Penarenda picked out Baptista's run for a late consolation. We were thoroughly outplayed in this game. We did switch to wingers late on, uh, and that did that did make a difference. Hamsik was absolutely woeful in this. It was a good goal from Baptiste at the end there. Um, 
But yeah, we were completely, completely outplayed. Next up, it was Burnley at home in the Premier League. This was a big one. Penarenda closed down the goalkeeper to give us the lead. And we were two up a minute later when Jagan Bogle crossed for Dominic Thompson. Burnley pulled one back in the second half, but we held on for the points. So two home games in the Premier League, two narrow wins. It was, it was a, again, a pretty good performance. It was a fantastic result. Penarenda uh, got some reward for some hard work. And Dominic Thompson as well with his, I think it was a first goal for the club. Um, but yeah, it was, it was really, really promising this. Again, it's, it's a game we had to win. Uh, we don't have to win, but you know, you really want to win against these sorts of teams at home. And we did that. Uh, and you can see there, we deserve to win it as well. Final game to catch you up on was the Carabao Cup third round. We had another League One team, Coventry City, uh, this time at home. Mads Beck Sorensen got on the end of a Kendrick Hendrickson cross to give us an early lead. Farai picked out Hendrickson's run for him to double our lead before halftime with his first Brentford goal. Before Sorensen crossed for Hendrickson to get his second. So this was more or less the same team that played Oxford United. Uh, the one change was the Bard had a start for this one with the Simpson injury, obviously. Uh, and you can see everybody played really well. Hendrickson up top. What a star he could be. Um, again, Sorensen as a left back was very, very impressive. Um, yeah, there's a, there was a lot to like about this performance. Again, it gets weak opposition, but Sorensen and Hendrickson basically ran the show, sort of setting each other up for the most part. What about the pass for Ferrari as well for Her Her Hendrickson's first? Um, it was There was a lot to like about this performance, albeit, as I said, against the weak opposition. So let's going to have a look, quick look at what all this means for the tables. We do, in the fourth round of the Carabao Cup, have another League One team in Gillingham. So I don't know who we've slept with, but we've certainly done a good job uh, getting a nice, friendly draw. Um... So that's positive. I would like to think a Premier League team would beat a League One team at home every time. Not every time, but certainly you'd like to think we'll beat them, on this, at least on this occasion. And four games in, we've won two, lost two. We're sitting there in mid-table. Um, I tell you what, as long as we keep winning our home games against those teams that are sort of expected to be down there and around us, we'll finish mid-table. Um, but of course, today is a very, very different challenge. We're playing first and second in the league. Um, and it's going to be tough. It really is going to be tough, but it's a good opportunity to see exactly where we stand. First up, we go to Old Trafford. Uh, we are not the favourites, surprisingly enough. Um, there's still an Ole Gunnar Solskjaer coach team. Uh, he's turning into a nice little manager, isn't he? Uh, you can see there, are, he's on 98 grand a week. He would be our top paid person at the club by a mile, and then there'd be even more... <laughs> <laughs> Once you get to the low boggle. Anyway, uh, they're a balanced standard playing uh, style. Have a quick look here. We're expecting this sort of formation from them. Uh, there's obviously some good players in there. Chiesa, Greenwood, who was one of the favourites to be top goal scorer. Deli Ali, Marcus Rashford, Pogba. Um, I mean, they're a decent team, aren't they? So we're going to be in tough here. They beat Wigan 3-0 up, 3-0 uh, last time out. And of course, Wigan came up with us last season. We can see their heat map there. There might be a chance to get in behind them. That's... Perhaps looking at that, the one opportunity we might have. Let's have a look at the team that we're sending out. And you will notice that we're going with wingers and double Roman Tour. Um, this seems to be working for us. The one thing that I didn't change is we want you guys to be really going and getting forward. Maybe we don't. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. Um, so Gunnarsson goes in goal. It's Thompson, McKenna, Rasic and Boggle. They're sort of, they're going to be our first choice back for this season, I think. Well, it depends when our, our uh, Croatian left back comes back, but they're doing a job so far. Garner, back fit, he, or unsuspended, I should say, against his former club as the anchor man. Baptiste and Hamsik go in midfield. Vardy as the right side Roman tour. Uh, I'm playing him out wide because he does have the good off the ball movement. So I'm hoping he'll pick his moments to cut in. Panarenda out there on the left. Tuazi up top. Let's see how we do. All right, and here we go. It is a big loss. I'd love to have Pella Versa sitting in there instead of Baptiste for this one, but it is what it is. Uh, Ghana says go out there and tell them to pick up where they left off. Um, I'm going to take the pressure off them here. There's no pressure on you, boys. Go out there, enjoy playing at Old Trafford on the big stage, and yeah, just do your best, boys. <laughs> just do your best. Um, we're maybe a little bit... To attacking, you could argue. I mean, certainly attacking wingbacks is ambitious on my part, isn't it? But um, I just I want to try and get an idea of where we stand. Well, as I said, when we have played in this formation away from home in the first two games when we've switched to it, we've looked the better team. Now, obviously, it's a step up from uh, Everton and and Wolves, who are both good teams. 
Uh, but it's another step up again, obviously, going then away to Manchester United. But we'll see how we go here. Can we win that? No, not quite. Uh, we're in the seventh minute here, and I have a bad feeling where this is headed. Uh, we're making them shift it around. We're making them shoot from distance. So that's not too bad. Uh, I think we'll claim that as a minor victory. We've lasted 10 minutes. You haven't really done anything in those 10 minutes, but I mean, it's one of these. If we if we get a draw from Old Trafford in our first season up, that is absolutely stunning. So we'll take it. Uh, it's just a matter of, you know, if we can hold out. But tell you what, so far we're limiting them to, you know, we haven't had highlights. Here's one now, though. Can we defend a set piece? Four comes in. It's a tricky one. Oh, Thompson's got to do a little bit better than that. He had it. It's edge of the area and Angle Gomez. It's probably Angel Gomez, isn't it? But he's whacked it in. And Dominic Thompson had a chance to clear this. He was there. And you've just... It, almost, it looks like he didn't know whether he should dribble it out or just clear it. And he ended up doing neither. And just gave it straight back to them. And they've whacked one in from the edge of the area. Um, we'll give it a demand more as the next shout. See if that helps us at all. We've got another highlight Starting with Manchester United. Can we go and win this ball back? We're there. We, I mean, we're putting decent pressure on them. I'm not hating how we're playing here. Um, we're not giving them a chance to settle. They've picked us apart, though. It's a cracking ball, isn't it? It's 2-0. And that makes it really, really tough for us now to get anything out from this game. I'll be honest. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. This is one where, first year up, I'll hold my hands up here and say, yeah, that's a good pass. Chiesa's just... Just been a little bit brighter than Dominic Thompson there. And that's the sort of goal, if we're being realistic, I don't necessarily mind conceding because that's just, just too good for us. Um, it's not been great, though. We will tell them we'll tell them such. Both our centre-backs on bookings is, needless to say, not ideal. Um we haven't seen anything from us getting forward. What we might look to do, let's maybe switch Vardy up front. Um, who do we have on the bench? We have Fico on the bench. So let's let's bring him on for Tuazi, I think. Yeah, let's bring Fico on for Tuazi. Uh, we'll make that change. Is there anything else we want to do? We perhaps want to maybe be a little bit direct. Let's take it off work ball into the box. Um... And I wonder if we want to maybe pass into space. Just try and get it wide and see where that where that where that takes us. Um, yeah, Baptiste is looking a little bit frustrated. You're the captain, mate. You've got to really hide that frustration a little bit better for me. Uh, yeah, Vardy's not really done much. Panarenda's not really done much. But again, I think it's a, as much as anything down to the team we're playing. Thompson with a throw. Back to Vardy. Back to Thompson. It's there for James Garner against his former club, of course. To Baptiste. Back to Garner. Can we spread it? We can. We found, uh, who's that? Boggle in space. Can he get a cross in? Go on, Boggle. It's edge of the area. He lines it up. And Baptiste has smashed in a goal. It's 2-1. And suddenly it is game back on. It was a massive wind-up from Baptiste. But he's placed it nicely past the goalkeeper. And it's 2-1. Shandon Baptiste with his second of the season. Boggle with the assist. And... It's a good finish. I mean, it wasn't quite in the corner. The goalkeeper will probably be wanting to have had that one back. But at 2-1, it's game back on. And is there a miracle to be had here? Well, let's see if we can... Let's win this and go up the other end. Oh, we don't quite. Thompson's there. He's done really well. Dominic Thompson gets it forward early. Is Vardy there? No, he loses out to Lindelof. Brozovic. Forward to Gomez. It's there for Rashford. Again, we're... I'm not... Oh, they've picked us apart again. We've got away with that one, though. I'm not... I'm really, really not displeased with this. Let's demand a little bit more. Vardy's not having a good time of things up there. So let's get Hendrickson on. He's looked... He's looked quite decent in front of goal so far. So let's make that change. We'll take him on as, uh, as an advance forward, just given the game situation where we do kind of need something here. And see if there's anything left in this game for us. Let's go attacking. Wait, let's wait. Hamzik. Hamzik! Oh! It's what he's in the team to do. He just couldn't quite, couldn't quite do it. He takes the corner now. Can we get someone on the end of this? It's decent. It's there! Oh, it is there! 
and it's Hendrickson with the first goal. It's 2-2. We've come from 2-0 down. Absolutely insane stuff by the boys. It's 2-2 at Old Trafford. And Hamzik with the corner. Hendrickson the sub with a towering header at the back post. And it is 2-2 at Old Trafford. And are we about to do something wonderful here? Um, let's, let's keep going with it. We, again, we've looked the better team in the second half. We've gone to Old Trafford and we've looked the better team. And are we about to pay a price for that now? Oh, it's almost stoppage time. It would be cruel now, wouldn't it? We've won it there, have we? No, we've lost it again. Cross comes in. Rashford's there. Don't do it. Oh, you bastards. We should have shut it down. And it's 3-2. Show some passion, boys. Let's go attacking. Oh, you just get the feeling Thompson has chances to clear it and he doesn't take it. And we just didn't quite recover defensively, did we? 90th minute. Well, that's heartbreaking, isn't it? They come from 2-0 down. If, we'd lost, if you told me we were going to lose 3-2, I'd have said yes. But to come from 2-0 down, back to 2-2 in the 84th minute, and I should have just shut it down, and I didn't, and what a moron I am. Unbelievable. That is that is so unlucky, boys. So unlucky. So Ghana suffers defeat against his former club. That is almost a moral victory, though, for us, isn't it? Uh, Ancelotti's looking at Tuazi, because oh, that's his lone player, so that's fine. You can look at him. Um... Oh, that's so... I'm so annoyed at myself for not trying to close it down. Anyway, we face Liverpool next. They come to our place. i tell you what, if we can play half as good as that, we'll be a chance. Okay, welcome back. The transfer window has closed. You can see we were the most active team in the Premier League. Uh, but before the window closed, we did manage to sneak in one final signing. And this is, I think... Oh, I clicked on the wrong part of that message there. I think we've found ourselves a really, really good... Uh, potentially world-class prospect here. We've signed a young French defender who doesn't actually join until he turns 18, so that'll be next summer. Um, but 17-year-old Skanda Suazi, I guess you'd pronounce it, 4.5 million up front with uh, potentially 2 million added on for 50 games and if we avoid relegation, only paying him just under 7 grand a week as a breakthrough prospect. Let's have a quick look at this guy and I think you can agree... He's going to be a world-class player. I have very little doubt about that. The only downside in his game as a 17-year-old is the heading of nine, but he's got good jumping reach. He's got decent strength, uh, good positioning. Passing is... I mean, he can play in midfield. He's passing so good. Um, he's a free kick taker as well. I think this guy is... Let me know what you guys think, but I think he's going to be a world-class a world -class defender. Um, so I think we've done very, very well to get him uh, in at Brentford. And yeah... Let's hope he uh, let's hope he develops into that world class player that I think that he can be. Uh, but four point five mil is an absolute steal for him too, isn't it? Uh, let's have a quick look here at what we're doing. We are about to face uh, Liverpool at home in the league. Can we keep our undefeated uh, or our perfect home record? Unlikely, but we're about to find out. Uh, you can see there we're sitting down in thirteenth now. There's have some teams have already played. This is a Sunday game. Um, but, uh, yeah, and Liverpool are up there. But look at Nottingham Forest. Dean Smith absolutely flying. Of course, he is at Nottingham Forest in-game. Uh, Ten points from their opening six games. So he's putting us to shame a little bit here, perhaps. Uh, let's have a quick look at what we're expecting. Pep Guardiola is the new Liverpool manager. Uh, and he is an absolute star, isn't he? Look at that. Um, they're an adventurous passing playing style. So a little bit like the Pep we know and love. Unfortunately, we don't have a data analysis, uh, analysis report for the game. Um, but this is how we're expecting them to line up. And this is the formation that we're going with. This this formation has worked at home for us, so I'm not sure if it's a good team versus bad team sort of formation. Uh, if we, you know, wingers won't work better for us when we're playing a good team, or if it's a home versus away. So we're going to stick with this and see how it goes. There are a few changes, uh, as you will see. Gudnatsen uh, is uh, still the goalkeeper, still uh, McKenna and Rasic at the back. Bogle and Thompson continue in wide areas with Garner as the anchor man. This is where we have the first change. Obviously, Palavers is unavailable for this one, so we need a new man in midfield. We're going to try Hamsik as the deep-lying playmaker, see how he gets on there. Farai uh, comes in to play as the advanced playmaker. He's looked really good in the cup games. Yes, against League One opposition, but he has looked quite good in there. Baptiste will continue as the box-to-box -box midfielder. Vardy goes up front with Hendrickson. He's played two games. He scored three goals. Um, came off the bench last time, got a goal for us at Old Trafford. So let's see how he does starting the game. So everybody is lining up as expected, which is always a nice bonus. Uh, what do we want to say to this? Uh, go out there, give them a morale boost. Um, I think we've just got to take pressure off them again. 
there, there is literally no pressure. This is not our season. Our season is not going to be decided by how we do against Liverpool and Manchester United. And here we go. Here we go. Well, as I said, if we could do anything like we did against Manchester United, then we'll be very, very happy with that. We probably don't want to be attacking Liverpool. Here we go. Nice early chance for us. Ball to the back post. It's decent, and Baptiste is on fire. He's got himself a third goal of the season, and 30 seconds into the game, we're beating Liverpool 1-0. Maybe we can win the Premier League this season. A cracking ball in by Farai, and a good ball to the back post. Baptiste goes with his foot, and... Fantastic. Absolutely stunning start to the game. And now we have work to do defensively. Mo Salah knocks it in. And that's just over. Oh, that was close, wasn't it? Come on, boys. Come on. Um, I, I'm, a little bit, I'm a little bit shocked, to be honest. I did not expect that to happen. Let's demand a little bit more. We're, I don't want to say holding our own against Liverpool, but we're not doing too bad here. Um, bah, bah, bah. Oh, we've got another corner to defend here. Mo Salah knocks it in. It's a decent ball, and Mane ties it up. It was horrible marking. It was shocking marking. No one anywhere near the back post there. And that makes me think we're going to have to rainbow boots for uh, Mo Salah as well. We're going to have to have a serious look at exactly how we're marking there, aren't we? We've got... Oh, it's a, is it a red card. No, it's just the one. Looks like Vardy's been fouled there. It's Hamsik with the free kick. Can he knock in a first goal? Oh, it's good. It's just bent past. Oh, it looked like it was going in off the boot, didn't it? But again, we're, I mean, we're holding our own against Liverpool. And we've got another corner. I shouldn't have said that again. Ball in this time. It's bouncing around. It would be unlucky to go in. Good nuts and clutches it to his chest. And we just about get away with that. Let's give it a concentrate. We've got another defensive situation. They've definitely come back into this game, haven't they? Yeah, we would expect nothing less. Uh, Mane's got himself a little bit too much space there, and Mane has rocketed it straight through Goodnartson. Um, what can we do here? What can we do? I wonder if we need to try and make them go down the outside of us a little bit more. Uh, it's difficult because that's the first time we've seen... A, uh, you know, a lot of their highlights have been from corners, haven't they? Um... Mane, just a little bit too much space. Good nuts, and could he have done a little bit better there? And just like that, we're 2-1 down, having gone in front, of course. We've got another highlight here, a throw-in. Firmino has it. Back to Alvarez. It's a ball to the back post. Mane is there. Mane is absolutely killing us. Ben Chilwell smacks in a third. Oh. When are they going to bring in the 35-second game of football? That's... That's what we need, isn't it? And very, very quickly, this is starting to go a little bit wrong for us. Henriksen didn't stay on his man. He's, he's supposed to be man marking the left back, so we don't have that situation. And it's 3-1 at half time. Having taken a first minute lead. Uh, well, we have to say we're not pleased with that, don't we? Um, Vardy's looking anxious. Is it too early to say Vardy isn't really coming off? He did get a penalty for us in our first game, of course, against Fulham. Um, but he also got a red card in that one. Let's try switching the roles up. Let's try moving those two around, see if Vardy is an advanced forward. Can get a, we'll get a little bit more out of him. I wonder if... Let's try passing into space as well. Maybe be a little bit more expressive, see if we can... We can get him in the game that way. Let's give it maybe a calm down. We're looking anxious and frustrated, which is never ideal. We've got a free kick here. Farai stands over it. Hendrickson at the back post. It's there for Rasic. And Rasic gets his first of the season. It's 3-2. And I tell you what, we're scoring goals against the best teams in the country. And that is not a bad thing. Um, let's give it a concentrate. Good ball in. Rasic with the header. And it's 3-2 Liverpool. Can we get ourselves back into this now? We've got another thing to defend here. Another throw to defend. Chilwell to Firmino. Chilwell crosses in. It's cleared away, but not completely. Mane is pinballs in there. Henderson back to Firmino. We still can't quite get it clear. And you're worried this is it's another block. It's desperate defending. It's I mean, you'd be on your feet applauding, wouldn't you, if you were a Brentford fan seeing that. It's desperate, but we're just clinging into this game. It's away there by James Garner. Ball back in, and that's a stunner. And there's not much you can do about that, unfortunately. 
it's just hold your hands up and it's a good strike. We've got out, we've closed him down. He's not at a good angle to shoot from. And he's whacked it in the top corner. Here we go. Another, what we don't want to do is, is concede too many goals here. Come on, boys. Come on, get that away. It's, oh, oh, James Garner off the line. Uh, all right, let's make some changes here. It's Again, it's not been Vardy's day. Let's get Penarenda on, stick him up top, see how he goes. Uh, Marek Hamsik, again, we're just struggling to get the best out of him. Now, we saw Rooney take a little bit of time to settle in, so we don't want to give up on him too early here. Um, let's just leave it at that. McKenna's not having a great game back there. Maybe we make a change at the back. Let's get Felix on. Um, Thompson's not having a great game either, but I don't... Mikulik is back from his injury, but he's still sort of getting match sharpness back, so he's not really available for this one. 4-2. Well, I guess it's okay. Um, you know, I mean, it's at home, but it is against Liverpool. They're obviously a very good team. We'll say unlucky again. It's not the worst, is it? So youthful Brentford come unstuck. Uh, Petrescu spotted at the stadium. He's looking to sign... Uh, I tell you what, you do well to sign a, a Premier League player if you're a League One club, mate. Let's maybe look elsewhere. Uh, but there we go. That is it for today. I didn't expect to get much out of today's episode. To be honest, that's gone probably better than I expected. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. It is positive that we're scoring goals against those sorts of teams. We were in both games, weren't we, right till the end? Um, which, again, is a big positive for us. We just maybe aren't quite good enough defensively yet. To, we're sticking the finger up at the... <laughs> oh, that's funny. Any <laughs> anyway, um, you know, that's that's not gone too badly. But if you have enjoyed that, guys, please do hit thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. Let me know what you think of the new defender. Uh, as I said, we don't get into next summer, but I'm really, really excited about him. And I think what we'll do is we'll come back next time for two games that we probably can get something from. At home to Bournemouth, who are 19th, and then away to West Ham, who are 12th. This is going to be the sort of episode where our season is decided. We've got a game against Dean Smith, Nottingham Forest in the meantime, and the EFL Cup fourth round as well. Uh, but we'll be back for those two guys. Until then, I've been Aussie Bell, and thank you so much for watching. Take care.